yeah, like I said, uh, first man walked out of Lindos one day uh, specifically to find his spiritual hermitage cave. Mm -hmm. It was intentional, spiritual discovery, not like a chance hiking event. Yeah. Well, to say goodbye, <laughs> probably for this lifetime, Shiva writes a farewell postcard to whomever it may enlighten. Uh, it's a picture of the temple of Harbin Hot Springs in Northern California, where 50 years for it, he performed 50 stand-up comedy shows during a 12-year run there. He's got a postcard of the temple, and he reverently places the postcard where? <laughs> in the archives. Seasoned non-attachment of a Tibetan Buddhist. He lives like that. He calmly gifts the cave to everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, my the illusion of private property, such a seed of greed. Yeah, we also experience, you know, besides your leaf, the, the scene is pristine. Oh, devastating and irreplaceable loss, as, as if our mom had passed away. It's that final, huh? Because the quintessential uh, necessity of a cave vision environment is absolute psychic privacy from other humans and demons. And with the St. Nicholas Bay beneath the cave, now sprouting with luxury villas for millionaires, and a boutique hotel, and they're building another one. That's what those two Greeks are on the, doing on the beach today, building another one. Two boutique hotels littered with villas. The indispensable privacy gone forever mm -hmm. for our lifetimes, gone. Hmm. Spiritually, we can never embrace our mother, our dead mother. Again, yeah. Death, so absolutely final. Uh, the psychic protection from uh, uh, distracting, shallow world, as you just heard about from Sri Aurobindo. Uh, is no longer around our uh, soul birthing Ganesh cave. So let's go outside. Let's go back outside into the sunlight and just look at the view. The tire sweep of St. Nicholas Bay through the eyes of me, the earth goddess. Uh, what a lovely natural veranda outside the cave entrance, where we took turns reading from Earthman's sex journal. Mm -hmm. uh, in his youth, uh, this, this whole bay was absolutely abandoned, or nobody ever lived there in the first place. Uh, yeah, in the golden age for hippies, uh, no other human slept overnight in this vast, pristine, panoramic landscape that goes all the way back to the Lindos, the little fishing village. Yeah, 400 people, small little place. Uh, yeah, and uh, no one slept overnight out here except him uh, on this end of the world peninsula. Mm -hmm. His spirit thrived in his private spiritual nature playground. What a divinely protected 
supportive landscape for a young world yogi. Colossal headroom and space to grow. Uh, yeah. Lindos. So. Well, a healthy four kilometer, two hour track. Just to take an hour. Uh, so let's descend. Let's go down to Wild Horse Cove. Oh, goodbye, Ganesha Cave. How fun we had today, huh? Just the three of us. The cave. Earthman and myself. Um, so what is the moral of <laughs> the cave today for Earthman? Get it while you can. He got it. This beautiful cave situation when it was gorgeous. But do not hold down. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, authentic mystic meditators. It's no longer safe here to birth world visions. So. Cave too exposed. Wrathful demons. Good humans. Yeah. Oh. Now any Philistine tourists can track us coming and going from the cave. Peninsula, while sunbathing in a deck chair, sipping, sipping a fancy uh, cocktail. Yeah, let's have a Bloody Mary and look at those, uh, 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 look at that old hippie, bald-headed, limping hip. Where is he going? Hey, catch the vibe? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Everything always must change. Mm -hmm. The unstoppable flow of reality. <laughs> like Alan once said, everything is so wiggly in reality. Oh, yeah, there was kind of like this e ephemeral golden period from 1968 to 1973. Then the Earth. Uh, freaks, the world freak traveler scene faded into the next most relevant uh, reality. Hip Facebook generation. We old hippies can't go home to Ma anymore. She's dead. Mm -hmm. Well, folded hands, though. Earthman bows. Namaste, Ganesh Cave, to honor our farewell for this lifetime. We drop down to the grassy plateau and walk along the peninsula toward Wild Horse Cove. You know what, Earthy, you're right. I'm going to show some more pictures soon. Uh, you know, the picture of the cave, Wild Horse Cove, people. My friends don't have, uh, you know, like 40 bucks to buy a coffee table book, gorgeous full color book. So um, we'll use the mirror trick. I mean, we've used the mirror trick our whole lives to pretend we're separate from everything else. We might as well use the mirror trick to show people stuff. We'll get to that shortly. Because okay. I'm the Earth guys, I rule what's going on right now. Well, Murr is taking a break from uh, having a fixed identity. That's tiring, huh? Especially being a guy. Uh, we're so stunned. On what? Don't dare smoke any hashish and grace or on go the handcuffs. Oh, mad dog gates animals. So, uh, now we're not dragging any bulls up to the cave. What are we high on? Spiritual intensity. It's truth. We're, we're high on the real deal. And uh, 
body within body. You're listening to the goddess right now. <laughs> Not some like fairy tale meditation trip. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Earthman. Earth goddess fused descends the cliff. Late afternoon. Mm -hmm. We exalt. Uh, we recognize specific individual stepping stones. We've been walking over for 50 years. Yeah. Like friends, you know. Uh, along the goat track to Wild Horse Hall. What's, what's that, Earth Man, within me? You want a little bit more, uh, like, male discovery? I found it first myself vibe. Oh, okay. A kind of a Darwinian buzz. Look, 40 years ago, this is what he wants me to enlighten you about. 40 years ago? Uh huh. Earth Man noticed, he's sitting up at the cave entrance, he noticed wild horses. Uh, Emerge from the remote interior hills. Yeah, Rhodes is a huge, big island, mostly wild. And these horses would come down to the Aegean shoreline and they would compulsively paw, they would paw the, the shoreline with their hoofs. Why? He didn't know. Uh, using his binoculars, uh, what? Why are they doing that? So, he's walking to Lindos one day, what does he do? He sees a small puddle, just like a meter in from the water, and by the pawing the horses created a little pool of water, like a, a few feet from the Aegean Sea. Why would they do that? Well, uh, Let's check it out. He scoops a palm of, uh, full of water, and guess what? My viewers are so smart, I'm sure they've guessed what. Water, <coughs> hello, not salty. Oh. And what a rush Earthman gets when he flashes that these horses somehow discovered how to desalinate seawater by pawing the earth, hoofing it up at the coast. Darwinian buzz. <laughs> Appealing to male vanity. Is he the first human to witness this? Why uh, survival take the take the salt out of the seawater trick by wild horses? You know, let's just say, let's just say, yeah. Give him a pat on the back and keep him inside, so I can get on with like the uh, beyond the ego realm. <laughs> 